Since the breakdown of the Soviet Union, the eight countries in Central Asia and the Caucasus face the challenge of developing standalone economies, which requires a major effort to diversify agricultural production, especially since decades of unsustainable agriculture have led to severe land degradation. To achieve this and face the global challenges of food and fuel crises and climate change, the countries of the region are aware that they have to work together with international agricultural research and development programs. In 1996, a CGIAR task force was formed to identify the regional agricultural research needs. By 1998, a consortium of nine CG centers started assisting the region through a program facilitation unit hosted in ECARTA's regional office in Tashkent. Today, we are proud to highlight our key accomplishments. Agricultural production in the region was dominated by a few monocrops, but that is changing as production systems are being diversified. So far, 40 new superior crop varieties of winter wheat, barley, Kabuli chickpea and other legumes have been released by national program in collaboration with CG centers. They now cover about 360,000 hectares of land, providing farmers with higher yields and increased incomes. For example, Uzbekistan has achieved self-sufficiency in wheat production as a result of collaborative research between the national program and ECARTA and cement. The region has a wealth of genetic resources. Bioversity International and ECARTA are helping national program to collect and conserve plant genetic resources. To date, almost 5,000 valuable accessions have been collected. The program is also strengthening national gene banks in all of the countries or established new ones where needed. Virus-resistant clones and true potato seeds have been identified in collaboration with SIP. A regional vegetable research and development network have been established in collaboration with the World Vegetable Center. The use of alternative irrigation methods is increasing on-farm water productivity in collaboration with ECARTA. More efficient irrigation water management at basin level is being introduced in collaboration with EMI. Conservation practices introduced in collaboration with CEMIT and ECARTA have shown excellent results. Areas under conservation agriculture in Kazakhstan alone have reached more than 8 million hectares. Minimum tillage practices are widespread in Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan on 1.3 million hectares where wheat is planted successfully among standing cotton. Market-oriented livestock production strategies are revitalizing the sector and increasing the income of livestock farmers. The program has made significant impact in capacity building and training. Over 600 national scientists and more than 9,000 farmers are trained in good agricultural practices. About 700 publications have been produced and disseminated among farmers and partners. Today, all partners can rightly share their pride with the region's agricultural research partners in receiving the CGIAR King Baduin Award for 2008.